My name is Grace Talian. I am one of our admissions counselors over here at Stockton University. I actually started this job um, in July, so I started in the middle of the pandemic, um, but it has been amazing ever since. I absolutely love it here. Um, I am from Bayville, New Jersey, so I went to Central Regional High School. If anyone's a local Central um, alum or if you're also attending Central Regional, um, that's perfect. Um, my brother is actually a senior over there at Central, and he's going to be joining us over here at Stockton in the fall. Um, so I, I tell him, I mention him in every presentation. I don't think he quite believes me, but if he's on the other side of this one, maybe he will now. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to share this presentation with you. Just a little bit more about me. My background is in business and marketing, and I also received my MBA. So I, without any further ado, we'll turn it over to Emily to introduce herself. Um, all right. So hi, my name is Emily. Uh, I'm currently a junior at Stockton. I'm a criminal justice major um, with a concentration in forensic psychology and a minor in Holocaust and genocide studies. Um, I'm in Stockton's dual degree program for criminal justice. So that's a super fancy way of saying I'm getting my bachelor's and master's in five years. So technically, this is my last semester being an undergrad, which is a little crazy to say out loud, but you know, it's, it's happening. Uh, <laughs> and um, I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. So up in North Jersey. Um, and yeah, I'm currently doing the Washington internship, which is a great opportunity that we have here at Stockton. Uh, had COVID not happened, I would actually be in DC right now, but I'm here in Jersey City. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on over to Guy. How's it going, everyone? Um, my name is Guy. I am a junior history major with a concentration in education here at Stockton. Um, in my previous years here, I have been a residential student on campus. Um, right now, I am currently sitting on campus inside the admissions office. I, uh, I work inside the admissions office. I'm an admissions ambassador, so I'm currently a student. And um, I'm also involved in a few different clubs and organizations on campus. I'm involved in Greek life. Um, I'm a member of the history club, and I'm a member of a few different clubs and organizations. I like to keep myself busy, but I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the presentation. Absolutely. And I promise this won't be me talking the entire time. I am joined by current students, so you will absolutely hear from current students. Um, I encourage you guys to hit on over to the chat feature here and ask any questions that you may have. There's also a Q&A feature as well. Um, and throughout the presentation, I always like to throw some little things over in the chat, um, like fee waiver codes and things like that. But without any further ado, um, this session is truly focused on the student who is not yet accepted um, to Stockton. So if you have been accepted to Stockton University already, my colleagues are hosting that webinar at this very same time. So now is your chance to head on over there and get the meat and potatoes of being accepted and enrolling here at Stockton. Um, but this presentation is basically to go ahead and get you on over there. So um, we'll go through the application process, general Stockton fun facts and different um, bits of information that I, I would find very helpful as a senior, and I hope you do as well um, as, a, as a high school student. So um, what we're going to do is look at my favorite area of campus first. I always like to start off with Lake Fred on campus. Um, one really cool thing about Stockton is we have a lake. It's called Lake Fred. It's not some stuffy name. It's just nice. Um, so this is actually, again, my favorite area on campus. I actually walk around the lake pretty much every day um, at lunchtime, and it is absolutely a beautiful um, campus here. So just another bird's eye view. This is our um, what many people think of as our main campus. Um, this is our campus that has been over here in Galloway, New Jersey, uh, but we truly do have two main campuses, both Galloway and Atlantic City, and I'll show you guys a little bit of both. Um, but this is a bird's eye view of that um, Galloway campus. So what we got going on over here is we have our unified science centers and our health science center over here. We also have a big blue gym. It's called Big Blue, not super creative there, but here we go. Um, we also have our track and fields right on back there. And then we also do have some freshman housing options over here behind Live and Learn. So we have housing two and housing three. Um, I've heard that students are very loyal to either housing two or housing three as freshmen here at Stockton. Um, so be sure to tune into the housing portions um, that we have going on this week to, to see more of that um, and what we have to offer you there. Right here is the campus center, so that's where I am right now. And if you do choose to tour our campus, that's where you will go to start your tour of campus. 
And then behind here, we actually have our whole academic spine. So this will house many of your different academic programs and courses. And then just across the lake, we actually have some more housing options for students. Um, so we have housing one, four, and five. And yes, that took me a while to get down which one was where. Um, but it's a very beautiful, walkable, skateboardable, bikeable campus. Um, we're located in the Pinelands National Reserve of Galloway, so that accounts for much of the beautiful greenery that we're kind of seeing right here um, in this beautiful aerial shot. So when students ask me what size stock, um, campus is Stockton, I always like to say that we are a Schmedium school. So we're home to about 9,934 undergraduate and graduate students. Um, we are home to two lakes on campus. We do have Lake Fred and Lake Pam on campus. And just a little fun fact that I didn't know, even being decently local to campus, um, we are the largest college campus located in New Jersey acres wise. So we are located on 1600 acres of that Pinelands National Reserve. Again, accounts for much of that beautiful greenery that we see around our campus. So this little star over here on the map, that's us. So that's where we are. Um, we are conveniently located again, right by the Jersey shore. So we have that Atlantic City campus just about 15, 20 minutes away. Um, we also do have Philadelphia just an hour away from campus. New York City is just about two hours away from campus. And then we also have additional locations over in Hamilton, Manahawkin, and Woodbine. So if you're, if you're in South Jersey and you wanna pick up a course um, in a satellite campus like that, you absolutely can do so. And this is our Atlantic City campus. So this is what all the hype's been about recently. So we do have our residential complex, again, just steps away from the boardwalk, from the beach, from the ocean. We also do have our academic center there as well. So you can live and learn right there on the beach. Um, and we actually just started work on our second residen residential complex over in Atlantic City just a few months ago. So if you do choose to be an Osprey, you can be one of the very first students to live in that brand new residential complex. But I'll tell you, everything that we're looking at right here is pretty brand spanking new, if you ask me. Um, just built in 2018. So it's certainly a beautiful area to live and learn. Another really awesome um, thing about our Atlantic City campus is even if you do live on our Galloway campus, there's also a free shuttle that runs between the two campuses. So say you're a residential student in Galloway or you just live in the area, um, you could either park your car at Stockton, or if you're already like a residential student, take the shuttle right over to the Atlantic City campus, whether you have a class or if you just wanna like hang out on the beach or go to the boardwalk. So there is free transportation over to Atlantic City from Galloway. And those shuttles run until about 1232. So um, basically like all day, most days, um, you can get over to Atlantic City right from Galloway. Yeah, that's a great point. I always like to tell students my ideal schedule as a student, if I could do it all over again, would be to end up in Atlantic City um, for a nice beach afternoon over on the beach in Atlantic City. Um, so that's my ideal life. So I'm going to live vicariously through you guys. Hopefully that pans out for you. Um, but we do have hundreds of co courses offered over in Atlantic City. Just some highlighted majors that have some really great offerings for students include our hospitality and tourism event management major. Again, right by the resorts, right by the casinos. You can't get any better than that. Um, we also have our business studies and our social work program that are booming over there as well. Um, we have some really great internship programs and um, service learning opportunities. And the really cool thing about Atlantic City is that you can actually do a year round housing contract. So let's say you wanted to pick up one of those internships over the summer, if you just wanted to work in Atlantic City, live on, you know, living there, it doesn't stink um, for the summer season. So certainly do consider that. Um, again, these are opportunities that we certainly didn't have when, when I was choosing colleges. So do keep these in mind. Um, again, we're steps away from the boardwalk. We do have a fitness center over in Atlantic City and and it puts retro fitness to shame. Um, so we really do have some really great options for students over there. Now, in terms of your academic experience here at Stockton, that is very much your academic experience. Um, so we have over 160 different areas of study in terms of majors, minors, and certificates. And the really great part about Stockton is that you can kind of mix and match any of those that you're really looking at to build your curriculum and your degree here at Stockton. So again, with 160 different areas, I think that's far too many to put on a slideshow. So what I did for you guys is I put our little QR code there that will bring you on over to the academic section of our website. So you can kind of peruse all of the different options that we have here. But I always get asked kind of, what are your heavy hitters? Um, so I'll tell you over here in admissions, 
our most popular major that I read on applications day in and day out is undeclared. And it's totally fine not to know exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, just coming out of high school, that's entirely fine. I applied to six different schools under like five different majors. So um, it's certainly okay to do that. Um, and once you get here at Stockton, we have personalized advising and preceptorial services that will guide you into that major um, where you're meant to be and where you will end up. Um, but in terms of more declared majors, I will tell you we are very STEM heavy. We have a ton of different opportunities for students over in that STEM area. So whether we're looking more traditional, like a mathematics, a bio, biochemistry, um, we can pair that with pre-professional studies. We can look at pre-med, um, pre-PT. We also have a DPT program here if you wanted to go all the way through. Um, but some of the heavy hitters that I see a lot in terms of STEM are the computer science program. We have been seeing a lot of health sciences as well. Um, we do have a accelerated physician's assistant program. That's a partnership we have out with Thomas Jefferson University. Um, and then on the other side of the house, we also do have some of your more traditional majors that you may think of outside of that STEM area. So if we're looking like a criminal justice or a psychology um, or the school of education, I know they're doing a presentation later today um, that I'm actually pushing my brother towards because he wants to come here for math and education. So I told him, listen, you got to carve out the time. You got to go there. I recommend the very same for you if you're interested in education. They're going to be doing some really great things. Um, but just a ton of different options. Again, if you guys have a few moments, feel free to you know scan the QR code or head on over to our academic section of our website to see exactly what we have going on here. Um, and we also do have those 18 graduate programs as well and certificates and all different courses of study at the graduate level. Um, like Emily mentioned, She's a part of that criminal justice um, dual degree program we have here. So some really great opportunities there as well. And uh, like Grace, Grace said, uh, so I'm currently a junior here at Stockton. When I first applied, I was an undeclared major. And then um, between now and then, I changed my major three separate times. Um, I'm now a history major with a concentration in education. And I'm still on course to actually graduate on time. Um, so a really great thing about Stockton is um, we're a liberal arts university, so more or less what that means is we try and make sure you get a nice well-rounded view, a nice well-rounded education. Um, so whether you come in undeclared or a declared major, you won't just be taking classes within that field. Um, so each, each student is actually required to take what's called at some distance courses. And that's basically something that has nothing to do with your major at all. So uh, currently I'm enrolled in a class called the science of ice cream. So as a history major, I'm taking this class um, it's basically just for fun and has nothing to do with history, but it's still counting towards my degree. It's still counting towards my credits and my requirements, and I am still graduating on time. Um, so Stockton is very good with making sure that uh, you find a major if you come in undeclared and everything, but even if you aren't sure and you um, take a few what you think might be extra classes, most classes that you will take here will count towards your degree and count towards your um, overall requirements. So just to uh, put that out there and put a little... Uh, personal story in there as well. Yeah, Guy, I might have to go to class with you one day. That's right up my alley, I have to tell you. <laughs> yeah, and also to add on to what Grace was saying about preceptors, many students might know them as advisors, but we have a fancy name and we call them preceptors. And Stockton values them so much. And in the way that they do this is we automatically have two days off in the semester, no class that day, because that day is dedicated for you to meet with your preceptor. And let's say you really don't know what you want to do major wise preceptors will help you get there and trust me i relate it to like they're like therapists for you and they know your degree the best and they will truly help you carve out exactly what you want to do with it with your degree so first when i started i had um just a regular criminal justice preceptor then i went into the dual degree program and i have a specific preceptor mate like just that focuses on that program and now i have another preceptor that will help me out with master's courses. So it all just changes and they all are there for you. Like I still talk with my first preceptor. I still bother him all the time. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? And he's still helping me out. And he even helped me get an internship uh, before I started this Washington internship. So they're truly there for you to help you out. And they're great, great re resources to have. Yeah, that's a really great point. I always like to tell students when you choose to enroll here at Stockton, you're never given that cookie cutter schedule, you know, just here's a paper show up to your courses. It's never 
that song and dance year. Um, so you very much get to be a part of making your schedule. You get to know what courses you need for graduation. You get to see where and when they're offered. So again, Friday, Atlantic City, Beach Day, push for it. I please do it. Um, but yeah, we we really allow students to work with our preceptors here um, in order to choose that. So great. I love hearing from students. I, I hate doing these alone. And I'm so glad you guys are here, um, especially here because um, I was not a student here at Stockton. Um, so as much as I love to see everything around, I love for you guys to hear from students. Um, but I will tell you that I was amazed in the ways um, that we have for students to get involved here. So over 200 clubs and sports and organizations. We also have something called Osprey Hub um, on our website where you can actually search for the exact kind of club that you're looking for. Um, you can actually find some really niche clubs here. Um, I've heard about this bug eating club. I've heard about uh, Ellen DeGeneres club. I've heard so many different things um, that our students are doing. So um, we do have a ton of different clubs and organizations. I don't know if Emily or Guy, you wanna talk about any that you guys are involved in. Yeah, so um, basically, once you guys get to college, um, you're going to hear this term at the top of this page, get involved, probably a thousand times. There's going to be people screaming it at you during orientation. Your first few weeks of school, there's going to be um, tons of people telling you to get involved. So um, here at Stockton, in the beginning of each semester, we actually have what's called the Get Involved Fair. So um, in a typical semester, that is um, an in-person um, every single club and organization that we have is set up on our campus. They're sitting at tables and it's impossible not to see them. So no matter where you are on campus, you're going to be looking at every single club and organization that we have. Hopefully you walk around school um, within that week of the Get Involved Fair. You find a club or organization that kind of fits you. You can sign up right then and there and then you'll be a part of that club. Um, so like it says on here, there's over 200 ways for you to get involved and there's a few different um, different options for that. So I kind of like to separate it into um, three, uh, three sections. So first we have tons of different social organizations. So social organizations are organizations such as Greek life. We have a large Greek life um, organization here. And then we also have um, this one organization, it's called the SET. Uh, it's called SET, it's the Stockton Entertainment Team. And that's a student run organization and their job is to basically entertain students. So um, they put on events throughout the semester, whether it's late night breakfast, they host a, um, an annual concert that's usually a student picked artist. Um, and that takes place right here on campus. So that's the SET organization. Um, and they make sure that Stockton students are entertained. So that is um, some of our social aspects. Like I said, we have about 9% of our students involved in Greek life as well. So we have a Greek community. Um, besides social organizations, we also have um, service organizations, which are organizations, it says right here, like community service organizations, organizations that um, will help both in the community, maybe um, a greater cause. We have Books Without Border as an organization that we have here. Um, and then we have our um, service or our academic organization, sorry. So um, we have service organizations, social uh, organizations, and then academic organizations are like I mentioned, I'm a member of the history club. So that is um, for my field of study. Um, basically, we go on trips to the area, we meet once a week, we talk about our classes, professors, the history program here. Um, so there are tons of different academic organizations as well, depending on what um, you would like to study and what you're interested in. Um, and if by chance one of these over 200 clubs and organizations isn't the right fit for you, I always like to say that all you need is 10 student signatures and one faculty signature and you could start your own club here. So if you have, um, like Ray said, a very specific niche that you're interested in, whether it's like bug eating or um, I'm not sure, trying to create flying cars and there are 10 other people on campus that are um, interested in that, get their signatures and you could start your own club. Absolutely. And I always like to note, um, we have all different diversity and multicultural clubs um, and organizations. So we do have Los Latinos Unidos. I have to tell you that was one of my first like kind of experiences here on campus once everyone was back a bit more um, was Hispanic Heritage Month and they did an amazing job. Lots of outdoor programming, especially because this was the fall semester, um, but it was absolutely amazing. And then we also have the Unified Black Student Society. And I have to tell you for Black History Month, there was 
not just one event every day. There were so many different events that students, faculty, and staff all got to be a part of. So really great opportunities to get um, involved as a campus community. And then I also just like to mention, in terms of community service, um, that Greek, Greek life that Guy mentioned, um, I've seen them do amazing things, I have to tell you. There is one student ambassador, Casey, um, who works in our office, and she's a sister, I believe, of Delta, 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 and she dropped off a letter on my desk, and she said, Grace, you're great. Donate to St. Jude, and I think she did that for a lot of people because they raised thousands of dollars um, for some really great charities, so there are really great ways to get involved in terms of community service and involvement here on campus. And now if you choose to be an Osprey and you choose to play an athletic sport here on campus, I will tell you we are very different people, but we likely have what you're looking for. So we do have our Division III um, sports teams listed right up here. Our men's and women's teams are right here. Um, and then we also do have our intramural sports and our club sports as well. Um, so something I've been hearing a lot about is this all-star co-ed flag football team that I have not seen in action yet, but I heard it's a really big deal here on campus. And then I also am just very intrigued about this whole Quidditch club sport. I'm not even a Harry Potter fan, not even a little bit. I just think it's really cool that we have it. Um, and then I also just like to mention that we are um, division one for esports. So that's something that my brother has been talking to me a lot about. And now he's got his friends talking to me about it. So yes, we are division one for esports. We have lovely facilities here on campus, um, really kind of state of the art things um, for students to to do that here um, on campus so certainly do check out our website we have everything over there as well and in terms of living here on campus um, this is an option for a dorm room as soon as your freshman year here on campus so uh, even as a freshman student you can choose to live in atlantic city so this is not photoshopped right out there that really is the boardwalk the beach the ocean right outside your window um, over in atlantic city they have all different options so you can choose a single you can choose to live up with up to six people um, but this would again be an option over in atlantic city and then we have a host of different options for you over here on the galloway campus um, so no matter where you choose to live, housing is guaranteed, and that is for all four years. Again, we have single, double, and apartment-style living, both in Galloway and Atlantic City. We have themed living communities, which really is kind of a newer thing here on campus I'm learning about, um, that it really allows you to kind of connect with folks in your dorm um, in order to really make some connections or, or bond in similar interests. Um, so some really great opportunities over there to get involved as well. Another question I get asked every single presentation is, can freshmen have their cars on campus? Yes. And I'll tell you, parking is free, printing is free, Wi-Fi is free, and laundry is also free. So that's a lot of freebies. I will tell you where I went. I don't think any of those were free. Um, so certainly do kind of keep an eye out for that in your college search. Um, so you don't have to bring your laundry back home to mom like I did because Times are tough. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, I am not super into the sports team uh, scene. I am much more into the food scene here on campus. So I can definitely speak a little bit more about that. Um, so I am located in the campus center over on the Galloway campus. Um, in the same building, we have a Chick-fil-A, we have a Dunkin' Donuts, we brew Starbucks coffee, we have sushi bowls, we have smoothie bowls, we have burritos, we have pizza, like everything you can possibly think of. Um, and then we also have kind of the all you can eat freshman 15 kind of dining hall here on campus, but don't worry guys, you'll walk it off, it's fine. Um, and then over in Atlantic City, we have some really great options for students as well. I had the opportunity to go over there and meet with some students a few months back um, and their pizza was absolutely amazing. I mean, it was something straight out of Pinterest. It, it was incredible. Um, so again, not super into the sports scene, but I'm your go-to girl on anything food here on campus. <laughs> and I just like to mention that about 70% of our freshmen do choose to live here on campus. So again, if you're interested in learning more about campus life um, or residential life, kind of seeing what our dorms are like, certainly do check out one of those residential sessions that we have going on throughout this week. They're gonna be providing some really great info. I've, I've gotten to do some collaborations with them a few times now and they are awesome. So definitely check that out. And Emily and Guy, where did you guys live freshman year? Did you live on campus? Um, I lived in housing one. So I'm not really in that debate of housing two and housing three. That was my next I question. vouched for housing one all day, every day, because um, like, well, I guess 
Uh, coming from Jersey City, I needed to dorm. Uh, Stockton was perfect for me just because it was far enough that I needed to dorm, but close enough that I could drive home for the weekend if I really wanted to. Um, and I saw the freshman dorms and I guess like it could like, you know, everyone each to their own me. I was like, yeah, maybe this one isn't for me. And I was like, you know what? I like the apartment style living. And that's exactly what I did. My best friend and I, uh, we applied to Stockton together and we got in together and we went to housing one. And that's actually where I learned how to cook. So really useful for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, that's where I lived on campus my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, I lived in housing four and junior year, um, I would have lived in Atlantic City. So hopefully um, once COVID's over, I can actually experience Atlantic City. Um, so I actually lived in housing three when I was a freshman, which is on freshman side. So kind of on the other side of the coin, I really enjoyed my time in housing three. So if you don't know, um, all of freshman side is basically one giant complex. Like you're surrounded by freshmen. The two housing options are right next to each other, surrounded by a huge quad. So I really enjoyed living on freshman side. And I also really enjoyed, um, the dining options and just kind of like the overall vibe of freshman side I always kind of try to think of a more professional word but I think that the unique vibe is a very good um, way to put uh, freshman side and living there um, I mean I also do see this question um, that I can just answer really quickly yeah, absolutely. so um, how does the the food plan work um, so basically for freshmen there are two main dining options there's either the weekly 14 or the weekly 19 and then within those you get a hundred dollars extra of flex balance um so kind of how that works most places on campus kind of work a la carte so like you pay for what you get so you ask about dunkin donuts so we actually do have a dunkin donuts right here on stockton's campus so say i go to dunkin donuts on campus i get like a medium coffee um a bacon egg and cheese on a bagel and a donut for later and my total comes out to eight dollars even um you would use one of your meal swipes which reload every week you would use one meal swipe for a total of seven dollars and forty cents so that's what a meal swipe is equivalent to i'm pretty sure so um you use a meal swipe for seven dollars and forty cents and then you go into that flex balance and you would use like 60 cents of that so um that's kind of how meal plans work you can only use them either on campus, um, whether it's our Atlantic City campus or Galloway campus or some of the partnered places off campus, but it's not like you can go to any Dunkin' Donuts um, and use it. We do have a Dunkin' Donuts on campus um, and there are certain places in the area that will accept um, dining dollars, Osprey Cash, so like the CVS, um, I believe Buffalo Wild Wings. So will. many. Some places Buffalo like Wild Apple. Wings, Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah. I keep hearing about Applebee's. There was, there, there was a student in our office who direct quote, I don't know what I would do if Applebee's wasn't on our dining plan. And wow, I got it at that point. And then just so you guys know, I went with the Starbucks brew on campus today. So sometimes it's a Dunkin' Day, sometimes it's Starbucks Day. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of share a little bit about our success services here. And again, my students feel free to kind of jump on in um, on any of this. Um, but the first year studies program here at, at Stockton really is exceptional. So whether you are jumping into that major that you know you were born to do, or you're exploring a major that you may be interested in, we certainly do have that first year studies coursework to prepare you for whatever you're looking for. Um, we also do have a really great first Ospreys program, and that is really focused on our first generation students. So whether you are a first generation student, or maybe your parents went to college many, many, many moons ago, and things have changed since then, um, no question is a silly question here at Stockton. So certainly everything from the admissions process all the way up and through graduation here at Stockton, we are more than happy to help you along with um, everyone here at Stockton truly is. And then again, we are founded in that culture of respect. So that's everything from those different clubs and organizations that we have on campus, everything from those webinars and seminars that we go to as faculty and staff all the way up and through what our students are doing. Um, so we're really founded and rooted in that culture of respect here on campus. We are also a member of the Washington Internship Program, which Emily probably knows a lot more than I do, but I, I usually mess up the way I say this. So we are the number one school located outside of Washington, D.C. that sends students into Washington, D.C. for this program. And you caught me on a good day because I got it right. Um, but there are many different options for students. Likely they have what you're looking for in terms of really any major in terms of hooking you up with an internship down and at the nation's capital. So certainly some really great options for you there. 
Um, something, again, I wasn't super familiar with that. What I was a little bit more familiar with as a local gal um, is our marine field station and our coastal research center. So again, being right by the bay, right by the ocean, some really great opportunities for our marine science folks to get their hands on that um, in terms of research and internships. And, and in um, oh, yeah, go ahead. I can actually add on to the Washington yeah. internship. And um, the great thing about this internship is it is truly fit for you. And like, so my main, I guess, uh, career goal is to work with offenders and basically offender um, rehabilitation. So right now I'm working for Offender Aid and Restoration of Arlington, Virginia. And daily I'm talking to clients. So these are people released from jail or prison and I'm helping them find jobs and create resumes. So it's definitely um, immersing me in this career and kind of giving me an idea of what it will be like. And you know, having me prepared like the skills that I need. So one thing I learned is I need to be more assertive and that was definitely out of my comfort zone, um, but I'm working through it. And uh, the internship, we are uh, actually the school that sends the most students over there. And it's really a great, great program. Any major can go there and you're in Washington. The housing over there is amazing from the pictures because I would have loved to be there. And of course, like you're right near, the capital, you can go to the museums and overall it's like a really great experience and it really uh, gives you that first look into how this career is actually going to be. Um, so definitely something to check out and consider. Thank you so much. I never even heard about the housing options over there. We, we had a talk. We'll talk later. Um, and then I also just like to mention, we do have study abroad and study tours. We have an amazing Office of Global Engagement here at Stockton University. It's a little bit of a pause on our study abroad and study tours right now. Um, but we have sent students abroad for entire semesters um, or even shorter trips. Let's say you wanted to do like a service trip abroad and you just want to go for a week or two. We have all different options, again, from a week or two all the way up and through a semester or two. Um, but if something hasn't come through this whole presentation so far, it's that we are putting our students first here at Stockton. Um, you are being taught by the very best of the best. So we have the highest percentage of full-time faculty teaching here at Stockton over any other public four-year college or university in New Jersey, um, with about 92% of those folks holding the highest degree in their field. And we have a student to faculty ratio, again, about 17 to one. Um, so keeping those class sizes small, again, your professor knows more than your name. They know your goals. They can write letters of recommendation for you and they can really guide you throughout your time here at Stockton and beyond. And we also have a super competitive first year retention rate. Um, so students are coming here and they are absolutely loving it. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into the application portion. Um, again, this is for our current seniors. So any current seniors certainly do take notes. Anyone who is not quite there yet, I'm actually going to drop a link over in the chat to fill out our digital inquiry card here at Stockton. So again, if you're a senior, um, you can certainly fill out the inquiry card and then apply to Stockton. Um, but for everyone else, please definitely do fill this out just so that we can involve you in any kind of future events um, that we do have here on campus um, or virtually. And then we can also loop you in on the application requirements for when you're ready. But again, everything that we're gonna go over now is for our incoming fall 2021 class. Um, it's not too late. So we'll, we'll start from there. Um, we do require a completed application. So whether that's a common application or our Stockton online web application, we don't prefer one to the other. So whatever works best for you. We also do have a $50 application fee or waiver. I am a big fan of the or waiver portion of that. Um, so I'm going to put our fee waiver code for freshmen over there in the chat right now. Um, again, for this year, it is Stockton U 2021. Um, for any folks that, you know, again, if you're not quite a senior yet, um, certainly do head on over to our website the August before you would enter. So again, if we're a junior this year, check our website this August to see all of the application requirements for your incoming class. Um, and I'm sure that there'll be another fee waiver up there. So definitely do check that out. Um, we do have an essay component of our application. So we want to hear your story. So I always tell students, we know all about us. We want to know about you. So again, if there was a year, maybe you didn't do so well in school um, or there was something happening at home, you know, that is your chance to tell us your story because as the eyes behind those applications. Um, it really allows us to get to know you. And then we also do require the official high school transcript. So certainly do send that on in. And we have made our two to three letters of recommendation optional for this year. Um, so that that 
is basically just accounting for the fact that it may be a little bit harder to get in touch with teachers or coaches um, or bosses during this time. Um, but I'm always recommending to students, if you can get your hands on two letters of recommendation, certainly do so. It's only going to help us, again, get to know you a little bit better. And it may even help you out with scholarship a little bit more. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So you may have, may have noticed that something was missing from that previous slide, and that is test scores. So we were largely test optional before this whole COVID thing. I like to say we're even more test optional now. Um, so again, it's been hard to sit for those SATs, for those ACT courses. We get it, um, especially this year. It's been super hard. Um, so for this incoming cycle, the only two majors that will certainly require test scores for review for admission to the programs are the accelerated seven-year medical program. That's a BSDO program. We have a partnership out with Rowan for that one. Um, and our nursing program, and that's for accreditation purposes. Um, they require um, specific test scores and GPA. So you can find the details on those two programs on our website. But anything else, we can likely look to you know a test score if you did take it for admission into the program. Or we can look at um, what you've done throughout high school. We can look at maybe sending you for our placement exam in order to test into majors. There are all different routes to get there. Um, and we will be holding a session um, actually tomorrow on, on some more kind of test optional and how do we place you into your courses because of that. So lots of moving pieces there. But long story short, don't sweat it. If you can't sit for the tests, it's not the end of the world. Um, so in terms of important dates, we're rolling admissions. So again, if you're a senior, it's not too late. You can apply today, tomorrow, a uh, month from now. I hope you don't wait too, too long, um, but definitely just know it's not too late here at Stockton. We do have some special program deadlines. So our accelerated medicine and pharmacy program, um, they had a deadline back in November. Physician's assistant, that just passed this February 1st. And then nursing, we have extended until May 1st. So if there are any seniors interested in nursing, it is not too late for that. Um, for any juniors or, or below, um, certainly do keep in mind that we do have specific deadlines for these programs. So again, the sooner the better if you're interested in any kind of specialty program here. Um, and then I always like to mention we're, we're open for single family and multifamily tours here on campus. So you can certainly go ahead and schedule one of those over on our website. We are running those Monday through Friday and most Saturdays over here in Galloway with a ton of different options over in Atlantic City as well. And in terms of numbers, this was always a screen that I was always super interested in as a student because I would go back to my dad and he'd be like, well, what are we looking at? So this is what we're looking at here. So the tuition and fees that we have here listed are for the entire year. So this $14,000 um, and change, that is for the entire year here at Stockton University. You cut that in half and that's about what we're looking at per semester. Um, our room and board costs we have posted there just about $12,000. There is a lot of flexibility in that number. Um, so in terms of the housing option that you're looking at, um, that apartment style housing, housing one that Emily mentioned, that's actually our cheapest housing option here on campus. And again, I didn't have that where I went. So I thought that that was the coolest thing ever. So certainly do go on our bill estimator on our website, see how much um, dollars and cents wise all of the different housing options are. And then again, if we're getting the super duper meal plan, it's gonna be a little bit higher if we're maybe cooking some more meals for, our, for ourselves, it's going to be a little bit lower. Um, so there is a lot of flexibility in that number. And then that brings the total cost to just about $27,000 for a New Jersey state resident who's looking to live on campus. Now, please keep in mind that is before any kind of financial aid. Um, so about 88% of our students um, do receive financial aid here at Stockton University. That average financial aid package is just about $17,000. And we do have 60% of incoming freshmen receiving scholarships. And I also just want to mention this little sticker up here, our Stockton Promise. So this rolled out within the past week. So lots of breaking news, again, about campus opening for the fall semester, about this new program that we have going on here. So the Stockton Promise could serve as another um, option for you and your family when considering Stockton. So we're rolling this out for incoming students in fall of 2021. Um, that if you're if we're looking at a, an income of $65,000 or below, um, you could possibly have those tuition and fees waived. Um, so you wouldn't have to worry about those tuition and fees. Um, so certainly, if you're interested in this program, if you have any other questions, I'm more than happy to chat with families individually. Um, but just know that this is a brand new option that we've just rolled out here on campus. Um, so I will put my email address over there in the chat as well. And then if one of my student ambassadors can actually post the link to the Stockton Promise as well, um, we have some breaking news over on that on our website as well. 
And in terms of scholarship, we have actually adjusted our scholarships quite a bit um, in the past year. So again, this is for fall 2021. Um, we are going to focus on this top corner for freshman merit-based scholarships. Um, so these are automatically reviewed at your time of, of your application being complete. Um, so we will look to your official high school transcript. We will also look at your letters of recommendation and your essay. And then aside from that, we're going to be looking at everything that you're doing outside of the classroom. So in terms of work experience, clubs, sports organizations, honor societies, are you the leader of any club? Um, let's say you're the founding member of the physics club, like my brother was. Um, super dorky, but I loved it. And he put it right down. It was the number one thing on his application. Um, and then we also do have family responsibilities. So let's say you're not super involved. You know, you don't get a chance to volunteer a lot. You don't get a chance to be super involved in clubs because maybe you're going home taking care of brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, whoever it may be. Um, we want to know that too. And all of that really does go into your um, scholarship consideration here at Stockton. And again, for out-of-state students, I am actually your go-to girl on that as well. So we saw our out-of-state numbers um, on that previous slide. And there is really an opportunity to kind of level that out-of-state tuition um, with the in-state tuition if you are a high achieving out-of-state student. So certainly do reach out. I am more than happy to kind of walk you on through that as well. And in terms of transfer students or freshmen coming in with credits, I have to tell you, we are very transfer friendly here at Stockton. Um, so if you're maybe taking a dual enrollment course in high school and you're interested to see how that will come on over to us, we actually have a tool on our website called Degree Works where you can see where that will fall into your program. Um, we also are very generous with the AP credit equivalencies as well. And you can certainly check that out on our website too. Um, but I also like to mention, we do have a program called specifically the Stockton Transfer Path Pathways program. So let's say we're reviewing your application and we just think you may benefit a little bit more from maybe starting at a community college and then hopping on over to us. Um, after that, we, we have really great affiliations with all the community colleges in New Jersey, and we are more than happy to kind of walk you through that process. But this is our connect with us slide. Um, so certainly do head on over to admissions.stockton.edu. Um, you will see everything about the open house on our website as well. So we do have a ton of different programming going on really all week. Um, so certainly if you're interested in any of those programs, um, do head on over to our website and check that out. Just to name a few, I know we have the physician's assistant one coming up. We have nursing, we have education, school of business. Um, so a ton of different options for you over there as well. Um, but I will actually stay on and answer any questions that you guys have. Um, but thank you so much for coming to this presentation. We absolutely loved having you here. Again, if you haven't gotten a chance to fill out that inquiry card, certainly do just so we can put you on the radar for all of our happenings going on um, soon. So certainly do take a few moments and fill that on out. Um, like I said, I'll stick around and answer any questions that you guys may have, but thank you so much. So how can I sign up for an in-person tour? Very good question. So let me actually stop sharing my screen. Um, for that. So yeah. I'll, you can sign, sorry, Grace. I was yeah. just like already looking up the link for it. Just, you can sign up for it right online. So um, there are like certain spots and every, like um, tours do fill up. Like right now we do have a capacity to them, but I'll send you the link for it. And then if you just find like an open spot and time that works for you, that's how you sign up for it. So let me I just sent the link. Don't worry about it. I sent the link. Oh, cool. So <laughs> There we are guys, and you can sign up right there. Again, it's a super easy process. We're staying safe, we're staying socially distant, um, but we are allowing students to come to our campus, which is really amazing. Um, so there's another question in there. Is there a paper application to download or is there an online application? So we do have the online application and then we are also a member of the common application as well. Um, so what I'll do is I will show you where those kind of live on our website. Share my screen again. So this is our application screen. Again, those fee waiver codes are posted right there for you. So again, save your 50 bucks. I always tell students, if you really want to give it to us, come on campus and buy a sweatshirt. Um, but certainly do take advantage of that. Um, this is the link to our online application um, and where you would basically create a login um, on our, our website. Or I know a lot of incoming freshmen choose to apply to you know, a, a host of different colleges and universities. We are a member of the common application, which kind of simplifies it if you are applying to multiple schools. Again, we don't prefer one to the other, so whatever works best for you.
Um, if you don't have access to the online application, I believe you could also come into the admissions office on campus and um, we'll provide you with a laptop like to fill out the application right here in the office. Yep. So, um, if you don't have access to any type of online material, um, you could come right into Stockton and we'll help you fill it out right here. Absolutely. I was just working with a student last week. She came with her mom. We filled it out in my office and we were done. She called the high school. We got the transcript and that was it. Um, so Guy, there's actually a question for you over in the chat. Yeah. So um, it's 9% of students are involved in Greek life. 90% would be a large amount of students, but about 9% of students are involved in Greek life. So that's like about 900 students spread out throughout a few different organizations. Um, and basically the way that that works is as a first semester freshman, you cannot rush. So um, you need to be at least a second semester freshman to go out for um, an, a Greek organization on campus. So once you hit um, 16 credits, um, usually your second semester of your freshman year, you are more than welcome to rush. Um, for sororities, um, it's a process of going through formal recruitment and signing up for it, which um, once it becomes that time, like you'll get tons of information on that as well. Um, but yeah. And I for the second question. So it doesn't make it more difficult to develop a social life. College is really what you make of it. So I talked about Greek life just because that's what I do. But um, like I said before, I really do stress involvement. Like a few people will as well. So no matter what you get involved in or no matter what you do here on campus, that's kind of gonna have going to be how you're going to find your group of people and your group of friends. So it doesn't have to be Greek life. That's just what I'm talking about because I'm involved in it. But um, like I said, there's tons and tons of different ways to get involved, whether it's um, clubs, organizations, just like study groups or anything. So not being involved in Greek life doesn't affect your social life. But being involved in Greek life does, um, like I said, open up a lot of doors for you as well, if you were interested in that. Like me personally, I'm not involved in Greek life. Some of my friends are, but me, per like Greek life, uh, I didn't I guess I wasn't that drawn to it, but you know, it depends on the person. And I find like, I was very social, like I'm still very social. And I even made a friend just through a Zoom class. And so even during COVID, when I'm not even like meeting people directly, I can still get involved and, you know, I could still like build my network and things like that. So don't let that discourage you. Um, trust me, there's a whole, whole bunch of ways to, you know, make friends and have a social life. Um, and you know, there's a, literally the possibilities are endless. So no pressure. <laughs> and then just um, for the one question for Rob too, um, Grace also mentioned it a little bit earlier, but if you wanna get in contact with her, um, but like just announced today, we have the Stockton Promise. So that is a really, really great opportunity where we're offering free tuition for um, qualifying students. So I just sent the link in there for that. That has the details. And then um, like Grace said, like feel free to, contact her or admissions for more information. Absolutely, yeah, this is definitely the right time to ask those questions because this just rolled out. Um, again, that press release is hot off the press, so we're more than happy to discuss um, that with you. So certainly we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one and we'll chat all about it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, I put my email address over there in the chat. If you think of anything later, I know I am awful at thinking of questions on the spot. Certainly do reach out to me. I meet with students all day, every day. It is my favorite thing to do. Um, so reach on out. You can also schedule to meet the freshman counselor right over there on our website as well. Um, and we're here for you. So thank you so much. Have a great evening and thank you for joining us. <laughs>